Hi, Christian. How are you doing? Hi. Fine, thanks. So, uh, what is your product that we're looking okay. at? I have developed a MIDI router. I have developed a MIDI router. With this MIDI router, you can control all uh, your all uh, your setup, all your keyboard, expander, and you can switch from uh, one sound, one configuration to another by touch the display or uh, by just pushing the pedal to step through your configuration. Ah, okay, so it's like the master section of a keyboard without the, the keyboard, I guess, right? Yes, you can uh, pre-program all uh, by touch here, and then um, you can decide uh, to, to play uh, an expander from uh, this keyboard, for instance. I play this Hammond uh, expander, then I can switch to another configuration and I've remapped uh, this keyboard to play that module. So, so it's stuff like MIDI channel, uh, yes. MIDI port. Yes, yes, I can address a MIDI port, port uh, and uh, the channel in this MIDI channel. And does it do things like split and merge? Yes, I can do uh, layers and splits. So I have uh, up to eight zones. I can um, set uh, uh, the key range, so I, in this manner I can do layers and split too. And how many MIDI ports does this unit have? I have uh, two MIDI in and two MIDI out. And uh, one USB socket that is uh, uh, MIDI over USB 2. Ah, so, so that's a host, that's a host port, yes, is it? Yes, host or device, you can uh, uh, program it. So if uh, you, you program like an, uh, an host, you can connect a keyboard like this workstation that is connected via USB. Or an iPad, perhaps. Or an iPad. So if you uh, program like a, a device, you can connect an iPad and use an iPad like an expander. Oh, that's nice. Any plans to make more MIDI port versions? Because sometimes people want more than one, more than two MIDI ports, right? I didn't understand. More, more than two MIDI ports? Uh, two MIDI ports, yes. Okay. Two MIDI in and two MIDI out. Two so, socket MIDI DIN classical and one USB. Uh, so it's programmed from the device itself, yeah? So yes, you, yes. You don't need uh, a computer to program. So let's have a look. How would you set up a split, for instance? You, would you do that in an editor or from ah, the... Okay, to program. Yes, just uh, you go through uh, the, the program. You have three page. And then for the split, you have uh, two parameters, key low and key high. So then you can... Uh, I just dial it in, right. Yes, dial. And or you can uh, touch the keyboard, and uh, there's a, an uh, auto learn function, so you can touch uh, the keys, and Cipario uh, can take that keys that you, That's uh, you neat. press. That's What sort of price are you looking at? The up price for? is 300 uh, euro. Okay, and uh, have you got plans to expand the range, for more models maybe? Yes, I have another model. This is a, a prototype, and uh, is um, I have uh, add a ribbon controller and there's double memory inside. Ah, okay, so you can so more, which, more configurations. Yes, with, each, uh, the, with this uh, controller, you can control pitch or other um, control change. Oh, you interesting. Can so people can use their favorite keyboard that maybe doesn't have those kind of features. And, yeah, yeah, I think that this is useful for a live situation when where you, have to, you need to change sounds immediately on, on the spot. Ah, so it does program change as well, yeah? Yes, you can send program change and you can remap all control change. Ah, so it yes. oh, interesting, right. Yes, so you can blend. For example, here I have... A yeah, I, I hear the crossfade, but... Yes, you can do a crossfade. It's very good of you not to be contributing to the really loud noise here by having smaller okay. speakers. So where yes. can people get hold of the, your products? Okay, the product is on the, on the web. You can buy from my site direct, directly. Uh, Which is? Labformusic.it Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.